He wants me to land on him. <clears throat> How is it going, boys and girls? Darb guy here, and welcome back to another ranked 1v1 duel video. And as you see, we are against Sam the Dude, the man right now. And um, this was originally just going to be the final game of an hour-long Charlie Harding and Duel video. Um, but, of course, we got Sam. So, like, I kind of just make it its own video. Even win or loss, this is the second time I'm facing Sam in the entire time I've played this game. I'm not going to lie. The first time I faced Sam was, like, a year ago. Um, I was playing Vamana, and he was playing Shirket, which is... An atrocious matchup but um he killed me like four times in five minutes and was like a thousand gold up and then he got my phoenix at like the 11 minute point mark and i surrendered so the first game against him um was not amazing uh he's probably gonna invade first blue he does this like every single game so i'm guessing he's gonna commit to invading it so i'm just gonna go over here but um i i'm i'm excited I always like playing against uh, other YouTubers and streamers. I don't, I don't know if he's live right now. I I don't know if I should hope he is or hope he's not. Because if he is live and I beat him, that'll that'll feel pretty good. But if he's live to 100 people and... Okay, well, I got hit by everything he had there. Um, I'm, I'm fucking nervous, man, okay? Uh, if he is live and I... And I lose to him to a hundred people, then that's a little embarrassing. I wonder why he's playing Thor. Did he have stars on Thor? Does he play Thor a lot? I don't really know. I don't watch Twitch, but I do watch nearly all of Sam's uh, duel videos. I don't know why I thought he wouldn't do that. Okay, I need to lock in. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous, man. I need to lock the fuck in. I don't know what that was. I just kind of... He just kind of... I don't know. Okay, I, he killed me and I took it. Like a champ. Okay, I ate that shit. I ate that shit. Like it was nothing. But it was something. Because now he's 400 gold up. He's trying to run the blue buff. I'm not just going to allow him to do that. He wanted to invade first blue. So I'm definitely going to contest his blue. Do you invade? You better be ready to be invaded. There we go, beta is ult down. I wanted to walk just out of view, so he ulted. Ooh, wait. I could play for a kill. I'd rather play for a kill than just get the blue buff. Yeah. Um, I was gonna get five with an Argus, assuming he's guaranteed dead there. But by the time I hit five, he had to back off. I could have just went for the polymorph in the one, but not fully reliable. I'm in the corner, man. I'm in the corner. God damn! What the fuck was that, man? <laughs> oh god, dude. Okay. I'm actually just nervous. I missed my knockup and then he fucking put me in. He boxed me. He put me in a fucking box, dude. Like this is Fortnite or some shit, okay? I need to lock in. Okay. <clears throat> I will not. I'm gonna win this game. Okay, Sam? So I'm, I'm sorry. It's just the way it's gonna be. I'm going to beat you. As Heron into Thor. Which is probably a slightly Hera favored matchup. I imagine Thor wins the early game. Um, Hera wins the mid game. And then Thor can win. I'd say Thor wins early game. Hera wins mid game. And I think he's ulting. I need to stay in the middle of the map against away from the walls. Okay, That's what I've learned. He's probably going to invade me. I really thought I could just walk out of that. I got hit right at the tip of that circle. Can you die? 
Um, what I was saying is I think Hera wins mid game and Thor wins early game. Like I, I don't really have much of a chance early game. And um I really thought he was gonna juke left, man. I really did. I really did, man. I'm going the Kronos pendant. Okay. One thought out of mind, Darb guy. Alright? One thought out of mind. At a time! A one thought out of time, Darb man. Um, let me finish my first sentence. Thor, early game. Hera, mid game. Late game, it's probably even, but easier for Hera to win. What I mean by that is Thor needs to get my beads and get out as if he's playing Naja. And then he needs to land a combo, like land his alt combo. If he can do that, he wins. If he can't do that, I win. He has like three chances. If he messes it up three times, I win the game. Which is a lot of chances, to be fair. This wall comes off a mile before mine. Not again! No! No, no, man! The fucking wall! I have trauma! You can't do that to me! Those are really good beads by him. Okay, I'm not dying in a stupid way again. I need to lock the fuck in. This is a long video. I I'm sure. I hope it's longer than 10 minutes. And if it is, you know that I made a fucking comeback, baby, okay? Just sit, sit your ass back in that seat. Take your finger off that fucking mouse. And watch me work my magic. Is his blue buff up again? He greeted red, so I could definitely contest. He's gonna be sitting behind this wall. I think that wall did not hit. Okay. <laughs> okay, he didn't have any cooldowns, I think. He is good with his ults, man! I even did a little, just walk in a straight line tech, because a lot of good Thor players uh, predict you to turn back a lot. And if you just zigzag, they just throw it behind you, and it hits you. So I just, like, I, I did a double back twice, and then I walked in a straight fucking line, and he didn't fall for it. That's crazy. He is good with his Thor ults, man. He's playing this very, very well. That kill does bring me back into the game, though, because haha, duel, duel moment. So my three deaths are now null. I mean, not null, right? He's still 200 gold up, and I could probably be a lot more up. Oh, I, I should have hit him with it. If I hit him with it, I get it. Thanks, you. Nonetheless, though, if you find yourself enjoying this video, make sure to let me know by subscribing. You can see that beautiful number at the bottom, right? Get that to 1K, and we'll do something. Okay, I don't know what we're going to do yet, but we'll do something. Once I want... Once you figure out what you guys want me to do, I'll do it, okay? But until then, I don't know we're, what we're doing. <laughs> no. We gave up. Why? Dude, I have trauma from the wall, bro. You put me in the corner fucking twice. Even if that hit, it's not enough damage to kill yet. No, you watch someone on YouTube, and you'll be like, wow, that guy's good. And then you see them, like, stomp bad players and also have good matches against the good players. And you're like, yeah, this guy's a really good player. But then you play against them, and then you really just take in how good they are at the game. Right? Because, like, it's different from watching Sam play fucking Hawken or Sam play, you know, Gotta Run. Hate him, love him, you know. It's different from watching Sam play good players and then facing Sam yourself. Why is... What is that? Oh, he's in the sky, bro! Why was his scepter on the ground? Did you see that shit? His scepter was on the ground over there, man! His scepter was just on the ground! How was I meant to know where he was at? Oh god, I yeah, uh, he can kill that thing without me being able to kill him with it. His scepter was over by the blue buff! I didn't... I, I didn't know he was in the sky! Okay, his scepter is by the blue buff on the ground! I was like, what the fuck is that? There's no... Circle on the ground, showing that it's able to be picked up, but he's not there. Maybe he... I don't know. Like, that was weird. I guess not in hindsight, it makes sense that the scepter is on the ground when he's in the sky, I guess. But, like, how was I meant to know that? That is a weird little mechanic, but... It's different from watching a good player face other people and playing against them. Because no one has ever... Okay, I've been walled like that once before by an honor, but... 
Um, no one has ever walled me twice in one game, right? He's He knows when to fight. He's clearing every wave. He's out farming me. He's getting away from my Arguses. He's landing all of his alts. Like, it's much different from... Um, seeing a good player face others and then playing against a good player in yourself, right? It's always enjoyable, though. Even though I'm triple negative right now. I'm having fun. I, I doubt he's having the same amount of fun just because people get annoyed by Hera and in some matchups Hera can be annoying he just used everything and I have Gemma Viso so this should be a pretty good fight for me. That's so sad I landed literally everything but he got saved by half a frame. That's so unfortunate. Argus! Why does Thorwald just break my big man man? My big man doesn't know what to do when a when Thorwald comes his Thorwald comes his way. Just want to clear the wave. I would like to get my Argus off cooldown a little bit. I think I just do this. He might have ult, so I'm gonna have to fucking pull some. Okay. He did not go for ult. He went for the steal with a wall, which is a. Questionable decision. Maybe his ult is down. I don't think so. Eh, he did just use it actually. His ult might be down. In hindsight, yeah, I think his ult was down. But uh, people get annoyed by Hera a lot, and she does have some really annoying matchups. Like I've played, um, I've played a lot of gods into Hera, which feels like I can't do much. But Hera has some horrendous matchups as well. Like you saw, actually, you you haven't seen it. You'll see me face a. I cannot believe that goes that far. You'll see me face a, he needs to use his one to clear this wave, and if he does, I have Gemma Viso Argus on him, so I can just wait for him. This might not kill, but it's going to be some more Phoenix poke. Yeah, it, it, we just got to wait for him to use the one. This is why we win the mid game, by the way. Not much Titan damage, but a little bit. I think he's going to ult here. I'm gonna walk in a straight line. He's gonna predict me to double back. Oh, he's not even ulting. Okay, we'll get the Bancroft to damage lifesteal. Bancroft on Hera is nuts, only because it gives her so much more damage and um, gives you the ability to go Typhons as well over Obshard, which is two items. To be fair, instead of getting Bancroft's Typhons, you could get um, Obshard. Like, I don't even know what else I would want to get, right? Like, the first three items, uh, an errata to Hootie, and then Pen is what I really want on Hera, right? Those five items. But, I don't know, I have beads up, so I'm comfortable in a fight, I think. He is probably just ulted. No, he's not. He jumped over the wall, perfect. And now we have an Argus and a wave pushing up. So it's going to be very hard for him to fully contest here. I don't really need the knock up right now. Yeah, that's his wave clear. We have a wave and a big man coming. Walk this way and um, turn back. Pop the shield for his wall. Argus is on him. Oh, he beats that. Wonder why he beats to that. I'm still very confident in this fight. Okay. He had really good movement there. Still very confident in this fight. Put it sideways so he has to walk into it. Teleported in. I am more than fine with this fight. I can beat his ass with no Argus. Who needs him anyways? Fuck you, Argus. Dumb bitch. Argus is my biggest stop as well, alright? For different reasons, though. He's fully backing. We can get some damage here, I think. We have Bankrupts as well. Holy shit, why did- how did he just do that to my Argus? Yeah, I'm just gonna walk in a straight line and he's gonna predict a double back. I'm not even in that circle. Well, that is some bull shit. Uh, you can rewind the video and see that I'm not even in the circle. If you freeze frame and pause that when his ult hit the ground, I am out of that circle. I might have still died anyways, but I was not in the stun circle, so it's kind of funny that I actually just died. Due to an ability that didn't hit me. 
That is a Smite one moment right there. I just got shocked on. Thorall became a fucking shock hammer. Even horrific, which is kind of weird. Second Relic. Sprint's very solid. Med's semi-solid, I don't know. Like It's all about his full commit, right? So I don't understand the horrific play. Because his goal is to full commit onto me. So him going horrific is not a full commit play. I don't have beads, so I don't really like my chances of doing anything right now. With no beads, he's just going behind the corner to try to ult again. I'd be fine if he ulted me right now. He didn't. I don't care about a bull demon, he's most likely going to bull demon. I got my pen online and my Argus up so he cannot get any value out of that bull demon and I have zero plans of getting it. So it's not useless because he still does get uh, gold and the passive regen from it. Oh, he didn't do it. But it's not like great, right? He's probably going to ult me here. Pre Argus it. Okay, my Argus didn't come out. It came out after the fact. Well, uh, my last two deaths were both complete bullshit. <laughs> Shit, like, I don't know what else to say. My last death, I still might have died, but I wasn't in the circle that hit me, so I died to a circle missing me, and then that one I pre pressed Argus, you could hear the click of the button, and it made the, <laughs> the thud of it saying no for some reason. It wasn't in the wall, so I don't know why it said no. A little unfortunate. We should be 1 and 3 right now, but my, my uh, fourth death was agreed, anyways, right? Fifth death was just unlucky, I guess, just to smite one moment. Now I'm going to go Spirit Robe, because it gives me mitigations when he stuns me, and the CCR should help me from his ult combo. It'll give me a lot of DR between his ult and his wall. It's going to overcap me on cooldown, but I don't care. The Spirit Robe is probably a really good item here, just, just in general. It's a weird bull demon again, unless he backdoors me, but I have a minion wave and an Argus, so if he wants to do a backdoor base race, that'd be a pretty weird play. It's alting. Weird. I don't really know what that was. Weird decision by him. I guess he got my beads. I think my beads are more important than his beads, to be fair. Here we get back now. I had to go sprint, just because I think Sprout could save me. Definitely does not have ult, and if he goes for my Phoenix, I think I could actually just win the game by killing him. Looks like he is not. Is he just keeping a cool, calm mental and not... Not screaming when you get walled in the corner twice, okay? Not, not not being terrified of every time he sits behind a wall waiting for an alt, all right? Not doing all of that and keeping a cool mind, okay? No matter what happens, you still have a chance. I might be pentanegative this, at this point. I don't have beads, so I don't really like my chances of leaving. And he's just sitting behind walls constantly, so he's just trying to look for a sneak ult. Yeah, he's just behind a wall. So I might just wait a little bit till my beads come up. He has no bull demon, so he can't push. This is why that bull demon is really bad too. Just because like he has nothing for this now. So why is the range on that so far? A pointless damage. The range on that shit is nuts. He's gonna go do the blue buff and then just try to wall me, so I'm gonna walk forward when he comes here. Pop the shield just in case he actually hits me. Yeah. Pretty predictable.
Oh, I missed the polymorph. He loses the game if I hit that polymorph. Uh, he's still in danger here, as long as Argus doesn't fucking love the wall again. Argus! Get off the wall! Just keep a cool head. No streaming, you know, when Argus fucking dry humps a wall four times in a row, you know. Just keep a cool head. Don't need to, don't need to, don't need to be like, Argus, why are you on the wall? Argus, don't do that, okay? No need. Alright, he killed himself. I don't know why he'd walk into the platform. To be fair, he should have died in the first place, okay? He would have died if I landed the first polymorph, but I misplayed and he should have died if Argus wasn't fucking strip teasing him with the wall, bro. Like, where was he going? Argus was not fucking. Argus is an op, man, for everybody, okay? Yeah, big ass man. I might have 2,000 worshippers on a hero, but all 2,000 of them were yelling at Argus. That horny bastard. Rubbing his nuts all over the place, alright? Ain't cool. Am now. Yeah, the spirit robe's kind of getting pretty massive value. I think spirit robe might just be good in this in this matchup, just for the CCR and extra prots. Because Thor needs his combo, right? So if I can help mitigate a little bit of the combo, I think with spirit robe he has to execute his combo perfectly. Literally perfectly, if he wants a chance of killing me with the combo. So I think Spirit Robe is nuts here. Maybe I should have gone Obshark to Hootie instead of Bancroft's Typhons from doing this, he's ulting. I don't think he can kill me. I don't want to bait him to ult him. Okay, um, that was fucking stupid of me. I really did not think he could kill me. I really didn't. I thought he would fucking just kill himself. Like, he did technically, but if he landed that wall, he missed the wall because my, my, uh, my, the DR from Spirit Robe helped me get out of the wall. But if he would have just predicted the fact that Spirit Robe, which is, you know, not easy. If he would have predicted the fact that Spirit Robe would have helped me get out a little bit earlier, he could have put the wall a little bit more forward. And um, he would have killed me and probably won the game off that. That was a good game, though. I hope you all enjoyed. And I hope you all have an amazing rest of your night. Peace.